Now, the kids are off on midterm this week, and with the weather still quite bad outside, what better way to keep them entertained than an afternoon of baking in the kitchen? Well, Debbie Woodward of the Saucepan Kids joins us now, along with her children, Anna and Ellen. They're going to be making sugar-free banana bread. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Ellen. How are we all? We're great. Pretty good. Yes. yes. Now, uh, we're going to make this, but this is an idea that you came up with because you saw the amount of sugar that were in children's diets. That's right. Um, we watched, uh, my husband and I watched a uh, TED Talk by Jamie Oliver a few years ago about the amount of sugar in children's diets in America. And um, we wanted to create a website where we could help educate parents and children about how to be able to cook real food and, and learn where it comes from. And, and get all the children yeah. involved in yeah. it as well. And that's what you do at home. That's right. So you both enjoy baking and yeah. cooking? Yeah. 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 Okay, really so what are we doing? So, oh, so first we're putting in 80 ml of oil and a squeeze of honey. Okay. Now the oil we're using here is extra virgin olive oil, but you can actually use any good quality vegetable oil like sunflower oil, or you can use melted coconut oil, which All is right. particularly health conscious. Now we're just putting in a tiny amount of the honey to, just to give it a little bit yeah. of a sweetness. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And you're mashing your bananas yep, there. Yeah, they're all here. So next um, thing that's going now in. we're going to add in the eggs. It's easier to put the eggs in a bowl because if you get shell in it, you can easily take it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very that's good. So instead of putting them all in first with yeah. everything, yeah, that's <laughs> good. That's good, yeah. So we're whisking this up at the moment because this is going to be the moisture that's going to come into the banana bread. So the next thing that needs to go in is the bananas. Okay. Kind of a key so, Anna, what do you like cooking best? Um, I like cooking Victoria sponge and fresh pasta. Victoria sponge, and is that for your nana? That I, I said that you, I saw that you like cooking for your nana. Yeah. <laughs> and why Victoria sponge? Is because it's easy to make? I don't know. I just like making them. Oh. And fresh pasta. So you just make your own pasta at home. Yeah, where well? possible. It's yeah. not something we can do every day, but it's a good thing at the weekends to do with the children. Wow, yeah. very good. So what's what's happening I now just here? Some milk Alan. The banana, and I'm whisking it up. Now it's important to use the right bananas when you're making this dish. So you want those bananas that are that are the bottom of the fruit bowl, like this. that are blackening, that nobody wants to eat. They're perfect for this. Yeah. And why is that? Because because they're overripe, they're much sweeter oh than bananas right. that are underripe. So they're going to bring that natural So it's sweetness. great instead of throwing them out. Exactly. And also you don't need to add sugar then because you're getting the sweetness yeah. from the bananas. Okay. And Ellen, what do you like to cook? I like to make pizza and bread. Pizza? Like pizza. Wow. Yeah. And so you you go off then and make a nice big home, <laughs> home homemade pizza for everybody, yeah. for all the family? Yeah. Well, and you've a, you're a brother and your dad are here as well, yeah. aren't they? What's yeah. your brother's name? Fraser. 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 He's outside watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next we put in a teaspoon of bake, um, bicarbonate soda, half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Yeah. That all vanilla goes in. Yeah. Well. Vanilla extract. A bit of sweetness in the vanilla extract as well. And I don't worry at this point if there's some lumps in the mixture because that'll all melt when the banana bread right. bakes as well. So don't worry too much about that. Then we put in flour. The flour. We now move to a spatula just so we fold in the flour and kind of whisk it. Okay. So we let air into the mixture and help it rise. Now the flour we're using is wholemeal flour, but you can use wholemeal spelt flour. Um, and we actually made it with rye flour last week and it was really nice with right. that as well. So and is this something that you'd make every week for your um, we try and make one every week or every fortnight because it's a great thing to put in school lunch boxes. Um, perhaps if you leave out the nuts, if there's a nut allergy in school, exactly, but it's also yeah. great for after school activities. And I'm sure it's lovely without the nuts, then just banana it bread, is. pure Absolutely. banana bread. Yeah. And in fact, the mixture that Ellen is just folding in here is the basic banana bread mixture. Mm. And it's at this point then that you can add whatever you want into it. So we're big fans of walnuts in our house, so we right, chop so those the up. the walnuts are going in, and yeah. what are the what are the and um, they're sultanas. Sultanas. Yes, yeah, so okay. you'll get sweetness from that dried fruit yeah. as well. But you can add in chopped dates, uh, pecan nuts. Um, if you want to make it even sweeter for the kids, you can get chocolate chips. That's lovely to add in as well. All right. Okay. So the next thing we have is a lined baking tin. Now, you can get these liners in homeware stores, but alternatively, you can get the kids to just grease it with a bit of butter. Right. Okay. And then it all goes in. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And it is a great way to get children involved, isn't it, it at is. home? It is, and, and they can start quite young. So even children who are quite young could get involved with the breaking of the eggs or the mashing of the bananas. Mm. Well, the mashing bananas would be fun, fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get them all involved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get them all involved. Now, how long does this go in for? So this goes into an oven 165 degrees Celsius, a bit cooler than the average baking um, so they're temperature. they're going to put that in there now? Yeah. Well, this is the bit that mums and dads get involved in yeah. doing because it's the hot don't, oven. Don't get the children to put in and no. out of the oven. No, <laughs> no, exactly. And, we and so what did you and say it's been in there 165 for? degrees centigrade for about 50 to 55 minutes. Okay, then and it comes out like then that. Then it comes out like there this. And we're just going to let it cool in the tin mm -hmm. for about 10 minutes just to keep its shape. And then we'll put it onto a baking tray and let it and cool. And then you have it more. here. And then yeah. we have one there, yeah. 
So that one has the walnuts and the sultanas in it. And you can keep it in an airtight container for a couple of days. You can keep it even longer in the fridge. But we always try and double up when we make when we make two. And we put, put one, one in, in the, the freezer, freezer and yeah. slice it before you put it in the freezer because then you can defrost individual slices or toast them. Lovely oh, toast. Oh, yeah. lovely toast. Yeah. And I, as I was saying, I'd still put some butter on yeah, that. Yeah, you can. No you can put some all. butter on that, yeah. Well, listen, yeah. and if people want to find out more about about the company and about what you do, it's yeah. saucepankids.com. That's right. And yeah. so your website's up there. And do you put stuff up on it all the time? And yeah, stuff? Yeah. 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 yeah, the website's a mixture of recipes and educational articles and videos of the kids. Yeah. as well, yeah. cooking, as well as baking, cooking as well. So you're going to be chefs and <laughs> bakers of the future? Are you stars of the future? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so when they leave home, they'll be able to cook for themselves. That's my well, ultimate well, goal. Well, certainly. <laughs> I, I think if they're making homemade pizzas and pastas already <laughs> at their age. Uh, Debbie, Anna and Alan, thank you all very much for joining no, us. As I said, saucepankids.com is where you can go and find out more information.